everybody! I am Net Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the FDA pregnancy categories for prescription medications. And I know this is a very specific topic to be talking about it, but you will be asked these sorts of questions in ATI and on NCLEX. I remember, even though it's been several years since um, I took NCLEX, I actually had a question on this. So I do know that you need to know this. So let's talk about them. So first is category A. That's the good one. That's the stuff we consider safe to take during pregnancy. So these medications do not demonstrate any risk and the chance of harm to the fetus or the mother is remote. Category B, animal studies have shown that this medication is safe. It doesn't harm animals, but maybe they haven't done studies on women, on any of um, human studies. Or they've done studies on animals and they've done studies on women and those don't match up. The results disagree. So anything in that category is a category B. So still considered pretty safe. Category C is what actually most medications you will find are category C. Category C includes medications that animal studies have done and in those animal studies there have been adverse effects but there haven't been any human studies. This is kind of a tricky thing about pregnancy is Obviously, we don't really have a lot of people, you know, gung-ho to volunteer to do medication studies when they're pregnant, right? Because they don't want to harm their baby. They don't want to potentially harm their baby. So we don't actually have a ton of research or a ton of studies done on pregnant women and different medications because of that. And it makes sense. It makes sense. And that's why most of the pregnancy categories you will see are category C. A lot of common medications are category C. For example, heparin. Heparin is a category C, and a lot of like antipsychotics, medications for like bipolar, um, depression, like a Seroquel or something like that. Those medications are all considered category C, and they're only taken because the benefit justifies the risk. So there is some potential risk involved, but if mom doesn't take it, there is a greater risk. So that's category C. Category D is there will absolutely be a risk to the baby. So positive evidence of fetal risk, that is category D. And an example of a medication that's category D is a phenobarbital, which is an anticonvulsant. So a lot of people, they have seizure disorders, this might be a medication that they take on a regular basis. They need to be careful when getting pregnant and maintaining that pregnancy and talk to their doctor about should they continue to take that medication? Is it safe? Final category is category X. So you can think of X as like, stop it. No, don't take it. Um, pregnant women should absolutely never take a category X medication. Category X, the risk outweigh any potential benefit. So C and D, we're kind of thinking about it, right? We're thinking like, well, we do need these and is it worth it? Can I get off of it? Can I not get off of it? Right? Um, with X, absolutely, you should not take these medications when you are pregnant. They are contraindicated, and an example of a medication would be warfarin. So, that being said, if you are taking a category X medication regularly, and you're thinking about starting a family, you're thinking about getting pregnant, you need to consult your doctor. Or if your patient comes to you and you're doing your admission and you're doing a med rec and you find that they are taking a category X medication, you need to discuss that with them and you need to educate them about why that's not the safest thing for them to do and what are some alternatives they could be doing instead. So yes, that was a very quick one and I know it was a very specific topic, but it is something you do need to know. So know your pregnancy FDA categories. It's very important. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you on the next one.